Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We have reached the letter R and that is all about redirect URLs. If you've watched the video for the letter I, you'll know that we talked about insights. And one of the things that we looked at was the insights for marketing websites. So we can see which pages people have visited. We can then drill down and we can see the location that they came from, that kind of thing. We can also go to a specific contact record and see if they've had visits to the websites too. But what if you want to have a a more controlled view of a specific link. So maybe you have some kind of campaign going on, you've launched a new product, you've got an event, and you want to be able to get a clear defined overview of that specific link and all the traffic and all the visits to that. Well, that's why we can use redirect links. So let's go ahead and have a look. If we jump into the redirect URLs in the internet marketing section, you'll see any that you've got set up currently, and we can go ahead and just click new. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to use a specific URL that is on our site, and I want to be able to get an overview of that URL, all of the traffic and all of the insights for it. So first is, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that URL. So that's the original URL that I want people to um, be going to, and I want to be able to get a bit of a, a, a better overview of it. So I'm gonna call this the A to Z of marketing and that is my landing page where I'm basically have a list of all of the videos that I'm putting out so that's what I want people to go to so I've put in the name and I've put in the original URL which is essentially the end place that somebody will end up so I'm going to go ahead and save that once we save it, what we end up with is a redirecting URL that we then use in different places. So I can use this URL and I could put that into social media posts. I can use that um, as links on buttons um, in the forms or in marketing emails, that kind of thing. If I click here to open it, what it does is it basically goes to this long link first and then it resolves and redirects to the end place that I want somebody to go to. So that's great. So I can then take that and like I said, use it in Twitter, use it in link, uh, LinkedIn, that kind of thing. Now let's look at the one that I already had set up. And if I go into this one, we can see there that we've got our original URL and that is to a blog post that I've got on another website of mine. Um, and if I take this URL and I paste it, you can see there's the redirect URL, but that will end up taking me to a specific blog post. And I've used that in social media. I've put it out on Twitter and LinkedIn. Now what I can do is I can look at the insights and I can see the location of where people have come from and ended up on that specific um, uh, page. And I can see redirect link clicks. Then I can look at the timeline and what I can see is a specific contact that has clicked on it. I can also see, well, where did they come from? So these ones I know have come from um, Twitter. T.co is Twitter. We've got some that are LinkedIn, Google, sorry, LinkedIn and Google. So I can see where they started. They then clicked on this link and then they ended up on this page. Now, if I go into Jane's record and I look at the insights, along with that interaction timeline, I'm going to be able to see any redirect links clicked. So this means it stands out rather than having to look through website visits and interactions, I can clearly see those important um, pages that they've ended up on. So it's something that you'd kind of use sparingly. You're not gonna do it with every single um, page on your website. It's gonna be things that are important that I really want to be able to know, okay, we've got a campaign and someone ended up on that campaign page. They ended up on an ebook download page, whatever it might be. So really, really valuable to be able to see and know and also then potentially use in segments to be able to find all contacts who have clicked on a specific link within a segment. So there's a lot that you can do with it. Again, use sparingly, but R is for redirect URLs. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.